Hey YouTube, Cheapo Unit here, and I wanted to do a video on getting to know me a little bit better. Plus, I wanted to do a couple of shoutouts. So anyway, um, if you're on my actual channel, if you're on my actual channel, uh, you'll see that you know that I'm an American citizen, which is tops. Um, I am Christian. Uh, I'm also conservative. So I guess those three things will pretty much tell you a little bit about me. Um, I am very conservative. I'm not extremely conservative, um, but uh, I do enjoy Michael Savage. So if you know who Michael Savage is, you'll understand my, my point of view on things. Um, as far as religion is concerned, I grew up Catholic. Uh, I'm now Christian. There is a difference. Uh, I won't get into all of the nuances of Christianity and Catholicism, but I am Christian and, uh, you know, I believe in God and I have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. So that's it on that. Uh, as far as my political stances, being very conservative, I am independent because uh, Republicans, I feel, have sold us down the river and they do not believe in their own party platform anymore. And plus, they refuse to address illegal immigration. And uh, I believe that illegal aliens are a root cause of many problems that we face in this country for medical uh, medical system, educational system, uh, and the economy. I mean, I won't get into the reasons why, but if you think about it, if you really, really think about it, um, illegal aliens is eating this country from the inside out. So. Uh, but nobody wants to address it because they want their vote, they, they, they want to pay them under the table, they want to you know, do cheap labor. I mean, there's a lot of blame to be handed out as far as governments, businesses big and small, uh, and a lot of people that just turn a blind eye to it. But anyway, I won't get into that. Okay, uh, my history. Uh, I did serve in the U.S. military. I served in the Navy. Uh, I only did a six-year stint because uh, I thought it sucked and I wanted to get out as soon as possible. However, uh, I think it was a great experience for me. I did make lifelong friends. Uh, I was disconnected with uh, all of them for a long time because life happens, families happen, and we grow up a little. Uh, but to the uh, magic of Facebook, I reconnected with a bunch of them and we picked up where we left off. And anyone who's served in the military knows that that there is a unique bond with people that you gone through a bunch of crap with and who and that you served with and uh, you know uh, I love my brothers who I made friends with in the service and uh, it's just unique so anyway um, also from all of the uh, videos that you've seen on here I like firearms and um, uh, I love those things I, I got the bug while I was in the service with some of my uh, shipmates who were very into guns I grew up around guns and I got influenced by that and uh, I completely believe in second amendment rights and uh, I enjoy firearms uh, I only have six firearms and plan to add more uh, you know you figure one's enough but when you enjoy firearms uh, and you want versatility and whatnot, uh, you tend to collect more. So, I'm trying to collect more. Um, also, uh, I've never done anything. I guess because I don't have a portable camera, but you know, I'm totally into motorcycling. Uh, I love riding. Uh, in my garage, I've got a 1997 Yamaha Royal Star Tour Deluxe. It is a cruiser bike, and yeah, I do like loud pipes. And uh, I love riding. I, as a matter of fact, uh, I like it so much, plus the fact that gas is so expensive. I ride every day to work, and uh, I ride a long way. So uh, I do have a, you know, a beater car, and I only use that you know, very rarely if I need to get stuff that I can't carry on my bike. So, so I, I really love motorcycling. Do I want a Harley? Yeah, I'd love to have one. I won't say no to one, but... Um, Man, uh, through circumstance, I ended up with the Yamaha, and that Yamahas are great bikes. And uh, man, it's there. Every time I think about getting another one, I 
look back to the Yamaha and it has served me well, very well. So anyway, maybe one day if I get a camera, I'll take videos of it, of it and um, I'll make a YouTube video about my bike or something. So anyway, um, that's really it about me. Uh, I also wanted to talk about YouTube channels. Now, I'm small time, uh, but I am simply thrilled that I actually get subscribers and random people who I have never met or heard of who actually look at my videos and comment on them. Uh, to me, that's still a, a weird concept, and uh, I think it's pretty cool. So here are my meager numbers. If you're on my channel, you can see it just by looking down, um, or actually looking down, or this side, right? You can be looking down at my stats. But as of this video, um, I've had 919 channel views. I mean, almost a thousand for me. That's huge. I mean, I'm thrilled. Upload views, 3175. I have 37 subscribers. I mean, for me, that's that's amazing. I was thrilled when I did my first video to have 10 people look at my video. I, I was just floored. Uh, and then I got, you know, subscriptions where people have their channel views are in the hundreds of thousands. The upload views are in the millions. I mean, and they, they have subscriptions, subscribers who number in the thousands and tens of thousands. That's that's pretty amazing stuff. But uh, if I ever get to that point, it'd be great. But uh, you know, right now I just enjoy making videos, and I'm glad that people who watch it enjoy it and subscribe to me. So to all of the guys and girls who subscribe to my channel, I thank you very much, and I'm thrilled by that. So awesome! Oh, gotta remember, just in case. Uh, I am armed and ready in case someone decides to bust through the door and, you know, try to come through my front door or through my back sliding glass door here. So, yeah, I am loaded up. It's empty here. I'm not going to have one in the chamber. Right now, I just leave it as is. I keep this nearby because I, I don't want to take any chances. And just in case, I have another magazine. Uh, nearby so you got to be prepared right so uh, I kind of got that tip from you know watching uh, Pete at the Armory Channel and uh, also mr. AK 47 master so so um, uh, oh speaking of those guys let me show you I want to do some shout outs here these are the videos you know I I subscribe to 27 channels right now and uh, you know, I have a hard time looking at all of them because I only have so many hours in the day to watch videos. But um, if I made a lineup card for my starting team, my starting lineup in baseball, this is what I'd bring to the umpire. Okay. Now you can freeze this video, pause the video, and so that you can take a look at, at the names of these channels, and you can copy them down and check them out okay so these are the guys that you know uh, the the videos that the channels that I like to watch that I watch consistently so I'll talk a little bit about them if you have no idea but Hickok 45 is uh, a guy in Tennessee who has his own range in his backyard and he makes informative and funny videos um, he's he's very informative he's if you're into Glocks this is the guy to watch. Uh, he does other uh, firearms reviews, and uh, he does a lot of stuff with shotguns, long guns, uh, really good stuff. Um, my favorite videos of him are of him carving a jack-o'-lantern with his Glock. I thought, for some reason, it struck me as very, very entertaining. All right, the next one here, the Armory Channel. Now, Pete's in Pennsylvania, and Pete would definitely be someone who could have been a shipmate of mine. He's got the mouth of a sailor, horrible humor, and I love it. Uh, it's just like me. Uh, if you don't like colorful language, if you're offended by that, don't watch the Armory channel because he's got some... <laughs> he's very... I Just thinking about Pete 
in his videos just cracks me up. But, uh, you know, he's not a complete clown. He's, he's got really informative videos. Uh, he knows his stuff. Uh, and I, I thoroughly enjoy his videos. And, uh, you know, he tells it like it is and makes a lot of sense. Uh, speaking of telling it like it is, Mr. AK-47 Master, I looked him up strictly for AK knowledge, which kind of led me to the Armory channel because Pete is uh, hes an AK guy too. He's now recently an AR-15 guy, but Mr. AK-47 Master has, has a lot of good videos on um, AK-47s. He also does a lot of different uh, firearms reviews and he's very knowledgeable. He's got a lot of strong opinions about uh, concealed carry and uh, uh, our gun rights. And, you know, he, he's got the mindset that I really like. Uh, I, I really like his channel and I always look forward to, to his videos. Um, and, uh, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a good bro. Um, this next one, Ryan J, Ryan JC US. I don't know how you actually say it, but this guy's got a lot of good videos on gear reviews and um, uh, uh, just basically survival stuff. Um, you know, he's, he's got stuff on bug out bags, supplies at the house, you know, things to do, you know, just to be a more overall, you know, better prepared person in case, you know, stuff hits the fan. So anyway, He's got really good videos. Uh, I, I do enjoy Ryan's uh, videos. He's got some firearms reviews as well, uh, but he, he's got really good information uh, on general knowledge stuff. Ebomi is a newer guy that I subscribe to, and I, I got to his channel largely because of the Mosin Nagant, and if you've seen my videos, you'll see that I made a six video series on Mosin Nagants, and uh, I, I checked out Ebomi's. Uh, I, I uh, uh, he talked mostly about firing his Mosin Nagant, and uh, I I enjoyed that. I studied his videos, and and he's a. I never met him, but uh, he he always he's very gracious. He answers my questions, posts, and things like that, and and he seems like a really genuinely cool dude. Um, I I'd love to meet him and. Uh, and uh, hang out with him and stuff, but he's he's got great videos too. Um, the last one is Safe Arms Review. This guy has got some seriously good videos as well on survival and preparedness. Uh, really good stuff, and uh, I enjoy his videos. And uh, very very easy to follow. Um, uh, picked up a few things from him uh, as far as advice and you know thing I, I make my own targets because of this guy you know he uh, he showed how to make your own targets for pennies on the dollar so so anyway um, he, he's got really good stuff too um, and I enjoy his videos all these guys all these guys right here I enjoy now like I said I do have 27 subscriptions there are other videos or other channels that I do enjoy very much um, uh, but you know, I, I've got, I still have to get into them and watch more. Uh, like I, I do enjoy Colin Outdoors, really good stuff on knives and just hi his hikes, videos of his hikes and things are just great. Um, weapons education, cutlery lover, uh, those I, I got to watch more of the videos. Um, God, there's, there's a few others, um, Gun Skinny. There, there's. Uh, channels that I, I want to be able to watch more of but you know you got people like like Pete at the Armory channel who's putting up videos every other day and um, and I have to watch him about four or five times because I laugh about him you know so much and plus he's got good information um, uh, uh, general knowledge on firearms and things so so anyway this is it so so now you ha there's a little bit about me and some shout outs and uh, oh one more thing um, <laughs> I love Vienna sausages <laughs> so I hope that this video is informative you know a little bit more about me take care of yourself and I'll look forward to making more videos for you bye